All right. We got a great day for vectors. Let's take a look at homework now. Ready for you. All right. Besides 48, let's do one of the vector addition ones. Your choice there. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, plus triple N, okay? So, how are you supposed to do this? Well, half of P would be what? Bless you. That'd be that one. And then triple N would be one, two, three of those. Okay? And you're supposed to attach them tail to head. Okay? So, nice and easy. Find somewhere to do this. Let's see. Be a good labeler. That was uh, half P. And then I'm supposed to attach triple A. And now what's this thing called that connects the very start to the very end? That's the resultant. Notice the double arrow heads here. That's going to be a point off for somebody. All right. And be a good labeler. That was half P plus triple A. So that's your full credit for number 29. No measuring, no uh, protractors or, you know, rulers, please. Just eyeball it. Give me half a P plus triple A result. Okay. So that falls into the Easy category, but confusing what they wanted you to do. Anything else besides 48? 48? 48? Okay. Good, good. Huh? 17. Same as the one I just did, but easier. It's just like M plus N. Attach them, draw the uh, result. All right. So there we are. Number 48, the one problem, final exam. All right, this this here triangle that shows you carries, uh, get you from home to school by not taking the easiest route. What's with her? Okay, but what kind of triangle is this? Angle, angle, side. I know it was December, but what was the... Uh, Law you were using for angle angle side when we did the calculator quiz. Law of sines. Good. Okay, so the first thing that should be showing up is law of sines. I guess let's see. I get it started here. Three over sine what? Thirty-four point six. Uh, let's call this baby A. Baby B. Wow. I think I'm running out of ink. All right. Plan B. This is what being a teacher is all about. I got this. Thought I had this. Sure do. Okay. There it is. My drawings aren't as good as yours. Anyway, so I filled in law of science. How are you going to find baby B? Cross, right? So B sine 134.6 equals, uh oh, run out of room, 3 sine 20.9. And what's the last step to get rid of this? You say divide. Okay. And what did you get? Somebody must have done this. Make sure your calculator's in the right mode. I'm talking to myself. One point, what? 
1.5? Trust you. Uh oh. <laughs> I got low batteries. No, what was it? Three. Okay. But read it to me. What was it? Three sign 20.9? That, was that what it was? Over sign 134.6. And yeah, let's go with 1.5 on that. Yeah. So what does that represent? Let's go back to the picture. Okay. B is 1.5. All right. Three was like how far the uh, school was all right, from our house. So I guess 1.5 is how long in miles she was on route b okay i'll write that up here on the picture 0.5 months and oh I cut to it what was uh baby a when you crossed one point yeah that i remember okay so cross multiply and law signs here we go now we know how far it took her to get there on each road and that gets us to 48C. And I get to be your science teacher for a minute here. Exciting. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Part C says, hey, now, it takes her 10 minutes to get there. I'm envious. All right. And she was going 25 miles per hour on first street. Let's find out all the other things. So back to our pick. Let's see, whole thing, 10 minutes. And I think it was what, 25 miles per hour here. Okay, here's what we want to find. How many minutes? Was she on that road, this road, and what speed she had to be going to get that one? All right. Welcome to science class. All right. Let's solve for this one right here. This is how I would teach you how to do this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. What kind of given do I have there? I have miles per hour and miles. Okay. I want to end up with just minutes. So anybody do this this way? Where do you want to put 25 miles per hour, top or bottom? We could guess and just put it up top. We might have to flip it though. So what if I do this, 25 miles? in one hour with me all right now what else do i have one more number miles where does it have to go so i can cross out miles wow. good somebody's passing their science clients now i cross out my my right there okay and uh let's see we want to change hours to minutes. Remember how to do that, right? One hour is 60 minutes. Cross out, cross out. And where's the minutes, top or bottom now? Bottom, that's bad. So as predicted, we have to flip this. Okay. All right, so in your calculator, what is 1.75 times 60? But then this is on the bottom. Divide by 25. How many minutes out of 10 was she on that road? 4.2. Did I just do? Yeah, you just down. Good. What what happened? I'm, I'll be back to struggle bus up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So 4.2 minutes here. How about a little 10 minus 4.2? How long was she on this street? 5.8, okay. And we gotta do this one more time. If you didn't understand this one, watch one more time. 
What are, what's left for us to find? What speed was she going? Okay. What do I got to use here? There's miles. I know I want miles on top, right? And do we have miles per hour? No, we have miles per minute. Okay, so what's the last step? How do I change mins to hours? Up here, what? So 60 mins equal one hour. Cross out, cross out. Do your calculator, you go one last time. One and a half times 60, that's 90. And 90 divided by 5.8. How fast was she going? Anybody got that? I should put the calculator down. What was it? That sounds reasonable. What wouldn't sound reasonable? Yeah, like 3,000 miles. Really? Maybe you better check your calculator. Unless she got like a jet pack. Or All right, good enough. All right, welcome to Vectors. All right, day two, light and easy. Well, let's go. Hey now. Today, Tuesday, Tuesday, all day. You were all Yeah. 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 Oh, was that acting <laughs> instrument band? Band. Addition for a movie. Oh, did you get it? No, no. And if I had, I would have been like, it was Major League Baseball. Mm -hmm. and I would have been like a little dot over the star yeah. shoulder. That's you in center field. Yeah. That's me. But uh, anyway, good times. All right. So. <clears throat> Today, a little bit different. I want to instruct by looking at the actual homework problems. This is going to be light and easy, I think. So these are the five you got to do from A to two. All right. Looking at number one, how is this different from last class? Let's see. What are those two things? They're points. And specifically, they are what kind of points? The initial and the terminal, the if and the pp is all I like to call them, right? So how is this different from last class? Last class, I gave you those, but I gave them to you in a picture. So uh, let's do number two together. All right, so write these down. Your initial point is two, negative seven. Your terminal point is negative six, nine. Draw that picture and connect them. And then we will find, you remember, all the pieces that, uh, you know, they could possibly ask. Starting at two negative seven, go to negative six, niner, and draw an arrow headed there. <clears throat> Here it is. Go ahead and draw it. You haven't already. 
And just like last class, I'm going to ask you for what are these three things? What is negative seven? Two negative seven is the yep, yes. Got it. But what three things am I going to want to know? <clears throat> what are these called? Do you remember? Those are the components. What do the bars mean here? That's magnitude. How long is the vector? And the direction the angle. Okay. So these are the three things you should be able to find from that picture. Okay. So if you remember way back last week, my goodness, what was my secret to success to answer these three questions? The redraw. Let's make this zero zero. Okay. No redraw, you're cooked. So get on, on board. All right, that is now zero, zero. All right, count. What are the components? How far over did we go? And how far up did we go? You can do it up here too. In fact, this might be easier. How did you get from two to negative six? Plus eight. Plus eight? Minus eight. Minus eight. Yes. Backwards eight. And then how high did you fly from negative seven to nine or big number? What was that? 16. Okay. And that was up, so positive 16. Okay. That's good. Now. Tell me the method again. How do you find out how long it is? Pythagorean theorem, not a triple for once. You know how I like my triples. But we're going to have to do Pythagorean here. Let's go. Square this 60 forward. Uh oh, big number. Anybody memorize those back in middle school? Nope. Oh, my daughter had to, they had to memorize like 25 square. Okay. Well, I'm holding you to 12. <laughs> I'm holding you to 12, so this wouldn't be on a, a quiz for you or a test for you unless I let you use calculator. So you got the calculator? What is that? 256. Oh, I could have guessed. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. like that. Yeah. Right. All right. I knew 256 was one of them, and I knew 225 was 15, right? So, yeah, probably would have guessed it. All right, uh, add those together, 320, and you know that I'll let you off the hook by just saying square root of 320. Oh, you want to be a decimal person? Okay. What are you risking that you didn't round it properly? Okay, we got your full credit. Enjoy. All right, and direction angle. Remember that one, inverse. And y over x. And is this one of the ones where we have to add 180 or not? What what angle did the calculator get? Negative something. Negative 60, what? Nobody gonna tell me? All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, negative 63.4 is down here in quadrant four. There's no vector down there. So what's the trick? And 180. 116.6 degrees, one decimal place for me. Yeah. So. That was very similar to last class, except what we didn't start with a picture. We had to draw our own picture. Wait, why did we have to do one angle this one? Ah, calculator told us a fourth quadrant angle. And when I did the redraw with the green axes, this was definitely in quadrant two. Okay. And crack the code on this. I think I already told you on video. 
when do you have to do the add 180 when it's in which two quadrants? It's two and three. All right, so that's going to be problem one. You'll get to do that one whole time. And let's mosey on to problem 11. Okay, all right, 11 is what we call vector addition, but it's the algebra, easy algebraic one. So let's do this one together for 14. 2f plus 3 minus 3h. Write that. Now let's fill in around it here. If f is 8o, then what's 2f? Don't say my physics grades. All right, that's 16 now. Okay, so that's 2f plus plus g. Okay, I'm going to add that. Negative 3, negative 5. Okay, and then finally, this negative 3h. What do you want to do for this? Do you want to distribute a negative 3 or just a regular? It's up to you. <laughs> Well, what if we just did three? That means the minus is still there. That's so what is three times h up there? Negative 18 comma. I was getting too close to the edge. <laughs> Yucks. I mean, yay. Yeah. Ah, uh, physics is fun with a pH. Yeah. So then what was that? Uh, times three, negative 18, comma, six. And you know, we could have just distributed a negative three in the first place. But since we didn't, now we probably should, right? I never like you to subtract. What's my words? Add the opposites. You heard that this year? So add opposites. Okay. And then your final, final, final answer. Mr. Bush. All right. Add the X's. 16 plus 18 minus tree. Take ice cream. 30, wonderful. There you go. And how about the Y's? Oh, I got it. Zero. Minus five, minus six. And so negative feedback. And that is that. Yeah. If I did have you draw this algebraic, I mean, uh, graphically, how many vectors would you have had that you were adding together? Three of them and then the result. So like the one we did earlier. All right. Moving on to 21, because I think you can do 11 on your own now. All right. We'll skip the physics problem. All right, 21 is new. Something new today. This is called a unit vector. Skip all that. There it is. Okay. Well, what was the unit circle? Radius of one, right? So unit vector, magnitude, one. Right. And here's your formula, not that you will need it. It's so easy. Unit vector. So what if, what if, what if? If I give you this as your initial vector, our buddy three comma four, okay. what does that look like? Well, where do I go if I can draw it? Three which way? Three to the right and four. 
to the up, and there is my vector, the blue one. Okay. So about magnitude, how long is it? You know, three, four, five, right? Okay. So that's the regular vector is five. How are you going to change five to one? This is what we're trying to now find. This little baby red vector that's only one instead of five. So how do you get from five to one? Divide by five. And if you're dividing the hypotenuse by five, guess who else you're gonna divide by five? And okay. So the unit vector is merely Three and four divided by uh, five. Okay, so all you got to do is remember get your magnitude and divide by it. Done. Okay, right. So Dividing everybody by five. Okay. So again, formula to make sense of it now. Your original. Divide by bank. All right, how about you try it here? Give me a number, any number? Seven. Seven, nice. Keep going. Four. Nine. Four. How about negative four? Spice it up. We're talking spicy food. All right, so find for me the unit vector, and I'll get the, I'll get the fractions ready. All you got to do is find the Maggie. It's just All right, dagger in, in your head. What's that? Square that? 49, 49 plus makes 65. 65. And that is our unit vector. Take the original, divide by how long it was. Now, so that's new. And where are we? We're to 41 and 45. Forty-one. Yeah, we ought to do one of these. All right. So here's forty-one, which you'll do. What did they give you? Magnitude and direction, and they want you to find the components. So let's do one of these, both directions, I think. So it's kind of new for you. Exactly. There we go. Got I'll make one up here. Let's see. Okay. Uh, don't write these green numbers down, but what if I give you those? Just making sure you remember how. Okay, we just did this problem. How do you find these again? Use what? <clears throat> the Pythagorean theorem, and then to find the angle inverse 
tangent. Okay, so I don't think we need to do another one of those. But what if, what if I give you these and want you to work backwards? Okay, so now write it down. This has got quiz question written all over it. Do you have to draw it? No, but I think I want to. All right, which quadrant are we in? Two, so I go 150 into quadrant two, and then I draw me a vector. 14 units long, okay. And now what am I trying to find? The X and the Y that got me there. Yeah. All right, so eyeballing this. Okay, this also came from December's calculator quiz. I believe it was woohoo, <laughs> woohoo. There you are, little red riding hood. Okay, yeah, uh, if she wants X, which side is that? Adjacent, which side did she have? Hypotenuse A and H is cosine. And even though that still works, don't we know by now what which trig function is associated with X? cosine and then remember unit circle by said cosine of 180 you went and found the x so we're going to use cosine to find x and no surprise what's associated with y sine okay so why don't you write down these shortcuts X equals Y equals, I'll give you these, of course. All right, so what did we say? For X, you're gonna do magnitude cosine, and for Y, magnitude sine. Why don't you and your calculator do those and figure out what's X, what's Y for this picture. Low batteries is not the answer for this time. Crankle away. All right, to the calculator. What was 14 cosine 150 negative? Say what? 12.12. So 12.1, right? Everybody cool with that or was it? Yeah. One decimal place, one decimal place, okay. And then what was 14 sine 150? Seven? Yes, sir. No good? I got you. It's 30. Oh, 30. I, I see what 30 is called the what? Yeah. Remember what this one's called? The re reference angle. Okay. So you can use it, but that would give you answers positive, positive in the first quadrant. We want second one. Yeah. So are we okay with this as a full credit answer? Heck yeah. All right. When do you need to write 7.0 instead of just plain old seven? 
this one was straight up seven. Yeah. If it's 6.987, then call it 7.0. All right. And like I said, make sure your answer makes sense. Which quadrant is negative 12.17? It's, it's ours. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know much, but I know these got to be what? Less than 14. All right. Now, uh, since you're a high-flying honors group, let's talk about old 30. 30, 60, 90 triangle. That's that one. What does the 30, 60, 90 look like? Like that, right? So real easy. How do you get from hypotenuse to shorty? Uh, uh, and half divided by two. What's half of 14? Seven. seven. So what other full credit answer would I have accepted? How do you get from one to here? Multiply by three to three. So look, I would accept this. Yeah, if you want to be special right triangle person instead of calculator, I'll accept that. All right, good enough. All right, last stop, number 45. And this one's got something new for you. So hope you're still awake. All right, I assigned 45 to you. What is going on with 44 through 47? What's different from the four at the bottom here? They got letters. They got letters. So like number 49, this is seven over, seven up. Make your own joke there. All right. But this could have been written this way. Really? Okay. So this is called IJ form, and it's real easy. When are you going to need this? 3D vectors. Can't wait to teach you how to graph in 3D. All right, so that's, that's coming. But go ahead and write this down. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So here is the last of the notes. Component form, IJ form. They are the same. From so again, what was your number forty-five from? I forgot it already. I'm writing down. Me neither. Yeah. Two I plus five J. So what does your problem really? Asking you to work work with this one. Okay, so don't get spooked by this. It's just another way of writing negative two five. All right, so I think that'll do it. Right. When we go three D, it's going to be I J and K. Can't wait. Can't wait. Okay. Excellent job today. Nice and light, five problems. More than a half hour to do. I think you got this. See you next time.